So a couple weeks ago, Glary Guitars reached out to me asking if I wanted to check out one of their guitars. And as we've previously established, you literally cannot have too many guitars. Also, I've actually played a Glary guitar. Uh, a friend of mine bought one just on a whim just to check it out, and I was pleasantly surprised with it. So I said, yeah, of course, let's check it out. Now, for full disclosure, I got this guitar for free. Uh, I am going to give as honest and unbiased a review of it as I possibly can. Also, I'll be taking into account that this guitar sells for $80, so compared to a lot of the stuff out there, if it functions, I'll be impressed. All right, so let's, uh, let's unbox it, check this thing out, get some first impressions. So looking in the box, it does come with a soft case. Uh, pretty simple, basic soft case, but that's cool to include. And a guitar strap, which is nice. They include a uh, guitar cable and Allen wrench as well for adjusting it. Oh, and a whammy bar? Does this, does this guitar have a tremolo? Oh no, I didn't realize this guitar had a tremolo when I picked it out. That makes this more complicated. I'm really interested to see if they can pull off a tremolo on an $80 guitar. All right, moment of truth. Hey. Okay, not bad. All right, so this is the 170 type electric guitar in Sunburst. Uh, and it, it is so light, wow. Okay, got a HSH uh, pickup combination, a simple like Strat style uh, bridge. We're not doing a Floyd Rose or anything crazy like that. Good, I was, I was worried there was gonna be a Floyd Rose on here. Wow, electronics feel really solid. This is surprising. Good, yeah, the pots have like I'm being so picky about this. The pots have a lot of resistance to them. They don't just like kind of fly back and forth really loose and fast, like, like you'd feel on a lot of entry level guitars. No, this is nice. Let's see if this like functions. Okay, yeah, that's a guitar. Okay, cool. Really quick first impressions. Um, the action setup is a lot better than I was expecting it to be out of the gate. It's a little high here. I don't know if I can, there we go. It's just a bit high at the high end of the neck, but I bet with a little bit of adjustment, that'll be no problem. Like I said, electronics feel good. Uh, I will say this volume pot is just the slightest bit loose. So I'm gonna pop that open and tighten it up a bit. It's not, I mean, it works and everything. It's just, it's just a little bit loose from the factory. I'm gonna go play with this for a few days. Um, I'm gonna write a little song on it, I think. And, uh, and probably do just a bit of a setup on it, get it just right. And then I'll be able to give a more in-depth review at the end of this video. Two weeks later. All right, I'm back and I've had a couple weeks to get to know this guitar. Uh, it's got its pros and cons for sure but I can safely say that for the price, this thing is pretty cool. First, I wanna kinda of go over the fit and finish of this thing. Uh, it is really well built, I gotta say. That's usually the first thing to go in a guitar in this price range, but everything feels decent and uh, it feels like they used some okay parts for this. I was expecting the frets to have really sharp edges like you'll feel on a lot of inexpensive guitars or to have something be really screwed up in the bridge, but honestly, it's all in working order. Like I said, the volume pot was a little bit loose and the neck relief was just a bit too much. I had to adjust it with a truss rod. The only thing I wasn't quite able to get fixed to my liking was the intonation on the bridge, uh, but that's some advanced guitar setup stuff that as a beginner, you just don't need to worry about. To talk about the feel of the instrument, it is incredibly light, as you'd expect from an Ibanez style body. The neck is surprisingly thick. With a Super Strat style body like this, you typically expect a really thin guitar neck, uh, but this is probably akin to your standard Stratocaster type thickness. Uh, this isn't a crazy thin Wizard 2 neck or anything. It's still comfortable to play on, it's just not what I was expecting. Once I adjusted the neck, uh, this guitar got a lot more comfortable to play. I also replaced the strings with just a set of Ernie Ball regular slinkies. That helped a lot as well. Next, of course, let's talk about the sound. I was honestly really surprised with how good this thing sounds. It's got a really solid bridge rhythm tone. The bridge pickup has a really solid rhythm tone, great for power chords, chugging, anything like that. And it's clean tones in the second position, which uses both the bridge and middle, had this really nice like bell quality to them. I used it a little bit in the song I wrote with this guitar, which you'll hear in a minute. The neck pickup gets this really nice jazzy tone. The whole thing just sounds pretty solid. I would have expected this to be, you know, a functioning guitar that maybe I'd switch out the pickups on, throw some DiMarzios or Duncans in there. Uh, but honestly, like it works right out of the gate and it sounds pretty cool. If I had to say my biggest beefs with this guitar, the fact that a couple parts were loose when it arrived is a little bit of a bummer, but again, it's 80 bucks. What are you going to do? 
the saddles in the bridge and the truss rod in the neck. I wasn't able to quite adjust them where I wanted them to be, but again, that's me as a picky guitar tech. As a beginner, these are things you probably won't need to worry about. There's one thing that does really bug me about this guitar, and that's the amount of noise that the springs make. Now, this guitar has a tremolo system, meaning it has a whammy bar attachment I can throw on there. Uh, and to do that, it has springs on the inside, just behind this plate. Those springs, when you play, tend to resonate and make a little bit of noise with the guitar. You'll only really hear this when you're playing with a lot of distortion, and you can fight it really easily with a noise gate, but it is something to be aware of. If you're not gonna be using the tremolo or the whammy bar much, you can kind of muffle the springs a little bit with some foam or something in there. I might recommend doing the same to the strings behind the headstock as they can get a little loud as well. All in all, for 80 bucks, I give this a yes, go for it. If you're a beginner who has a budget under 100 bucks, this could be a good idea. I still recommend spending around 200 on your first guitar, but if you can't quite swing that, this is a great option. And like I said, I wrote a little song using this guitar, just a couple riffs, playing around, seeing what it could do. All right, let's check out that tune. All right, thanks for watching. Thank you to Glary Music for sending me this guitar to play around with. Had a lot of fun with it. You can head to glarymusic.com and check out all their other guitars there. And if you like this video, subscribe for more videos like this one, along with music production lessons, songs from video games and TV shows, and a little bit of everything. That's all for today. I'll see you next time.